saw in the previous video, there are different types of machine learning. Supervised learning, which was the main topic of the previous video, and supervised learning and reinforcement learning. In contrast to supervised learning, unsupervised learning occurs when there is no supervision. Let us imagine that we have never seen a basketball game in our lives and that now, by chance, we have the opportunity to watch one over the internet. In this case, even if we didn't know anything about basketball, we would understand that there are two groups of players with different kits who compete for the possession of a ball. After a few minutes, we might be able to understand that certain moves are prohibited, causing the referee to interrupt the game. And finally, we would also be able to recognize by the reactions of the players that something important happens when the ball enters the basket. In unsupervised learning, the computer goes through a similar process. For example, given a set of unlabeled images of different animals, it is possible for the computer to learn to distinguish these animals, based on aspects such as size, color and number of paws, even if it doesn't know how to name them. Therefore, unsupervised learning allows us to identify patterns and structures in data and with them to understand which elements are similar to each other and consequently which elements are distinct from each other. This is the type of problem that unsupervised learning seeks to solve. Reinforcement learning is more related to decision problems. Its application is more common when we want to build a system that learns how to make decisions. Reinforcement learning is described by environments, states, rewards, agents and actions that can be taken by these agents. An example of reinforcement learning is dog training. In dog training, the dog is rewarded whenever it demonstrates the desired behavior. This reward can be in the form of petting or food and it aims to encourage the dog to learn a certain behavior, reinforcing it through the association between that particular action and a certain reward. In this example, the dog is the agent who has to choose the actions that lead the environment, in this case regulated by the interaction with the owner, to give him a reward. Another classic example of an application of reinforcement learning is teaching a computer to play a game. For example, a computer can learn to play draughts through reinforcement learning. As already mentioned, a reinforcement learning system consists of agents, environments, actions, states and rewards. In the case of draughts, the system works as follows. First, the agent, represented by the computer, performs an action, that is, makes a move. This action takes place in a certain environment. In this case, the environment is represented by the game board. As a result of this action, there is a change in the state of this environment. In other words, there is a change in the placement of the pieces on the board. This change can lead to rewards. If the action leads the agent to win the game, the reward will be positive. If the action causes the agent to lose the game, the reward will be negative. It is based on this dynamic between actions, states and rewards that the computer learns how to play. Naturally, the system is designed to look for actions that result in positive rewards, since a positive reward is like an award for a good decision. This is the type of problem that reinforcement learning seeks to solve. In this video, we saw that unsupervised learning is used when we want to discover relationships, patterns and structures in a set of data. And we also saw that reinforcement learning is essentially applied to decision problems where an agent has to take actions in a given environment. Based on all of this, we hope that you will now be able to identify the different types of machine learning and know the problems to which they apply. See you in the next video and until then have a great time learning. Thank you very much.